you move it aside, you bring a new one in, and you plug it in again. So it's a very quick operation, maybe 30 seconds, hot swap, and then you're off and running again. The energy and the power contained in each pack is monitored second by second. And these repurposed batteries are expected to be useful for several years to come. We're seeing and expecting somewhere in the ballpark of three to five years of additional lifetime beyond the automotive application. And that's enough time to make it well worth the cost to deploy it. But being a second life system, it does come with a few trade-offs. We're more active on these projects, you know, day to day, month to month, sometimes replacing batteries, you know, swapping them, actively managing the project to maintain its capacity. Um, we also take a little bit more land area. And you know, that's something that we did intentionally to, to make the uh, management and swapping easy and also to, to manage safety in a very passive way. So your battery management system and your battery health management needs to be excellent. The potential for thermal runaway does complicate things. Safety is you know, of, of the highest priority, not only from the fact that it's dangerous, but it's a, a huge financial cost if you're front-ending all of this capex to, to build these systems and then it goes down because of a, a thermal, thermal runaway event. Redwood will now be competing in a growing energy storage market with established leaders like Tesla, which has built a successful energy business with its Megapack grid-scale storage.